And we're back! And it's troll slaying time! Did you guys bring your torches and pitchforks? I'm sure I didn't. Blot brought plenty of fire though. And I like fire. <laughs> fire. Yeah. The merg hands kind of come out of nowhere. Let's blow them up. You guys have a lot of hit points for monsters that are in the gray. You mean, yeah, just low-level beasts, huh? <laughs> I think I'm being spoiled by Pokemon where I'm so used to just one hit KOing everything and suddenly just like, oh yeah, here's some monsters that actually can take some hits. They're not difficult or anything, it's just like, actually takes a couple of swings before you can take them out. Okay, I'm gonna mm -hmm. save before I take this guy on, slash I haven't saved in a while. Now, is this the troll from what- No, this no? is not Nyx the troll. It's one of the trolls that was pissing me off earlier. Oh jeez. Mountain troll. So, think those Ettons I was fighting, but nastier. Yeah, this health is going down fast. That's because I've got him in a stunlock combo, which is nice. Okay, so maybe not as nasty as I was saying. Yep, so long as he can't bring that club down on you, you're golden. Sweet. Yep. Man, the Mountain Troll's design is wonderful. Look at that face. Mm -hmm. Look at the, like, rock bits on the back. Though he's fur. That's weird. I thought that was flesh from a distance. Nope, it's fur. That's creepy. Okay. Now, well, who did way. he slay? Uh, probably somebody's camp a long time ago. Oh, one of the knights. Mm -mm. Oh, that that was the buddy that got killed. The buddy? Just so, uh, the I'm I was given the quest to kill these trolls, because they were setting up camp and the trolls ambushed them. Hmm. And this is the buddy that died. Oh, that's unfortunate. And then the other guy is this guy up here, who is injured and only half-dressed. So that's why we're killing the trolls. I like that the fact that they actually gave... What's all this splintered wood? Uh, I have no idea. I guess it's a dam, maybe? Yeah, it's a dam. Oh, surprise Mergans. But they actually give some backstory to go kill six trolls that makes Whoa, sense. Oh, it's a trash. Now, I believe I can't hit him while he's flying. Oh, yeah, looks like I can. Mm-hmm. Typical thresh. Kablam. It's interesting how he has, yeah, floating deer skull. I think that's nice. Yeah. Now, the designs for the... I, I'm going to say this over and over and over again, but the art... Ooh, Tempest. I didn't even know what Tempest is, but I want it. But uh, the like art creation team on this game is fantastic. If, uh, if the studio still existed, I would be gunning for a job there. But sadly, uh, I'm not even really sure why... Studio 38 and Big Huge Games flopped so much. I, I know part of it was... They the, spent too much money on this. Yeah, they needed to sell 3 million copies and they only managed to sell 2. Which, for a pair of studios' first game ever, damn impressive. And realistically, this game is very generic, yes. But it's the good kind of generic where it feels very familiar. It feels like a mix between... Dragon Age, Skyrim, and uh, the Fable games. Well, and a little bit of KOTOR and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a little bit more character to it. Because, well, you haven't played Fable yet, but this game, uh, a lot of the characters and I'm, I'm feel pretty much, I'm pretty much going to refuse to play Dragon Age. Yeah. I saw the opening to that and a couple of like, quests and the stuff. The dwarf was opening like, was uh... pretty sweet. I really enjoyed that bit. But... I, I guess my issue with Dragon Age was it was just too goddamn long. And I think this one's going to be really long, but Dragon Age, you hit the level cap, and things are just, like, you, you don't get anything else. You get some loot, yeah, but that's about it. Whereas this one, I don't know if you can even hit a level cap while trying to beat the game. I think you have to grind on stuff endlessly if you really want to... Are we going anywhere in particular? Uh, currently, I'm taking out the mountain trolls because they're in the way. But uh, Nyx the troll and 
the witch are both in this direction. Mm-hmm. Normally, I was going to do these guys in a side quest episode. So watch out, yeah. Surprise, Bogarts. Bogarts. But since they're right here, I wasn't going to pass it up, you know? Mm-hmm. Ooh, food bits. I dove through his legs. That was sweet. <laughs> Too bad he backhanded me immediately afterwards. Kind of took the wind out of my sails. But hey. Okay, but see, troll, the fate. Fake hands. hands. Yeah. And then two more things that I'm probably going to do since we're in the area. I I like that at least that the side quests aren't particularly boring or grindy. And you can kind of do them on the way to do everything else if you're set up for it. I can't imagine what the quest lines would be like if we had actually pursued some of the human Oh, look at it. It's lines. chasing a little fey light around. I wish I hadn't killed it immediately. No, I know. Can but... you make me a Bogart plushie for Christmas? We've already discussed this. Yes, I'm going to make you Bogarts and I can make you flying flies, yeah. buds. Yeah, if you haven't seen flying yet, check it out. Which would surprise me considering it's like the only other thing we do. Maybe when they're done we can put a picture yes. up. Oh, hey. This is the Ballad of the Night and the... The two knights and the troll. Uh, except, are the knights dead? Well, this is... It, it's the thing talking. Oh, in grief it went to... Huh. Yeah. So the troll wanted to be a man. And so what she did... Is instead of... She didn't actually do anything to him, but... Well... Is it like the emperor's new clothes? Kind of, yeah. She she tricked him into thinking he was. You are a human, human now. She cackled. Go. What a dick. Uh huh. I, I'm kind of disappointed that like. It, it, it's it, definitely the emperor's new clothes in that instance. Yeah, it really is. Except for instead of the emperor, it's just one very sad troll. And he gets killed for it too. Yes. Yeah. I'm afraid you've caught me at a bad time, friend. The famed hospitality of the gnomes may be missing today. You see, I am in distress. I lent my journal to a fellow surveyor to record information from the Split Rock Depths. His name is Horace Despero. He ventured into the caves, but never returned. No. I am worried about him, and I must admit, my journal as well. It may sound selfish, but the journals we surveyors keep are very important to our work. If possible, I need to find out what became of my friend. A and the journal, too. I'm a surveyor from a mining company from the east. The journal contains all the data I've gathered from my exploration of the area. I lent it to Horus so that he could add data he gathered from Split Rock Depths. Since he hasn't returned, I'm worried something terrible might have happened down there. If you can find out what happened, I would like to know. It should be somewhere in Split Rock Depths. As I said, Horus may be trapped down there also. Please, find out what became of him, and bring the journal back to me. I'm sorry, was that too exuberant? Mm-hmm. It's never too exuberant when daggers to the face is involved. He definitely would have been caught in that crossfire. Yeah. Ooh, I can loot the bedrolls. Hey, what was that skull on the bottom? Uh, I think it was actually a plant. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know. Chest time. Loot, loot, loot. Yeah. You can actually murder people in this game, but mm -hmm. to this game's credit, you have to enable murder mode, which I'm, I'm appreciative of. Ah, crap. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's no animation canceling that, which is... Problematic. I mean, they make it slow enough so that you can definitely dodge that. Yeah. Well, but not when you're in the middle of a spellcast animation. That's the problem. <laughs> I'm just thinking about the clubs that they always carry with them. Yeah, these we clubs look like uprooted trees. I, r I really like that. Mm -hmm. 
But I, I'm just imagining that, you know, all of the trolls, you know, they when they initially learn how to wield clubs, they're like, hmm, yes, we have very specific uh, specifications for the shape and the size of our clubs. <laughs> and then everyone ends up with the same club. <laughs> I would very much like to see kind of a modern world gone to hell, except for, like, fantasy creatures came out. Ooh, stone. Yep. But, like, imagine if you had a troll exactly like this, but it was raiding a neighborhood and was wielding a light pole. I'd really enjoy that. Mm. That'd be cool. Hmm. So I guess Nick's the troll is kicking the, the shit out of them. So, is this demonstrating the change in the story? No, this is demonstrating the story itself. Mm. It was the same thing with uh, what's his face in the sh thresh. If you talk to the stones, it would tell you the original tale. I think this is where we just find the dude's journal. Yeah. Whoops, I just went for the quest marker. Wait, there too. Hmm. Oh, Brother Patrick. I guess two birds with one stone. Wasn't Patrick the monk? Yes. Huh. Eh. Uh, don't ask me. I'm just the stabby man. Stabby woman. Dude looks like a lady. <laughs> I will not regale you with any more bad singing. Oh, God. I love it. I love how they actually animate the environment to pop up as you come along. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is just another exit. So we'll come out that way, probably, after we're done. Mm-hmm. It'll probably set us closer to where we're going as well. Torchlight again. Ooh, hey! Hey! Huh? The I'm undead! Dead. Um, yep. Oh, you know what? We have fought the undead before. Where were they? Remember the the necromancer dude? Oh, yes. The guy that was talking about some rivalry between some factions, and he's like, oh, surely you've been sent by them. And you're like, oh, no, but can we ask what they are? And he's like, no, I'll kill you. No, it's battle time. <laughs> hey, he's a Pokemon trainer. His Pokemon are all undead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no backstory, no nothing. Just, you're in my cave. You must be after me. Ah. And we even denied it. We're like, no, we, we weren't sent by them. What are you talking about? And he, he, uh. Oh, these ones aren't sleepy, happy bar guests. That's disappointing. That'd be kind of cool if you could actually pick out a perk that just makes animals automatically friendly to you. Yeah, beast master. That would be a fun thing. I think I remember back in the days of, like, Star Wars Galaxies, granted I never played it, but I remember reading about it, how there actually was a Beastmaster class. You could go around, search for creatures that were tameable. I had a friend try and convince me to play that, but that was, like, in the middle of the World of Warcraft heyday. And mm -hmm. the problem is, Galaxies didn't exactly have the best visual uh, definition. Not the best visuals. I heard, though, that it, there was a lot to do. Like, someone could actually be a dancer as a class and, you know, stay at the cantinas and on the side, you know, act as some sort of agent just to, you know, deal with crime lords and stuff. Yeah. I mean... And there were a lot of faction things. Like, they had the Witches of Dathomir. They they had a lot of the expanded universe incorporated in there. Yeah. I, I guess I just can't see that being a particularly compelling game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think the problem was there wasn't enough to do. I don't know. Yeah. I I guess, if anything, I'd say maybe even the company to make that game, they made the wrong choice. Because the only, only game company I could think that could make a game like that where they pretty much leave you to your own devices would be... 
uh, what's it? The mm. people that made EVE Online. Mm hmm. Because that's like the only game I've ever even heard of where you can pretty much just do whatever you want and the game developers let you do it. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what EverQuest Next does with its whole, you know, custom built system in a yeah. Minecraftian way. That'd be cool. Uh, quick read through and summary of the journal. A girl named Keska betrayed this person. Persian, yes, person. A foolish cult. Yeah. <laughs> Resist a pretty pair of legs? Wow. <laughs> mm. Okay, so I guess this is the site of a cultist and a dark tree god, and the guy was a bounty hunter, and Ceremony Night, uh, they killed somebody, Thunderclap, what? Mm-hmm. Smacks and swallows, swell of blood. What, Wait. legs too long, her voice like teeth scraping on bone, her eyes are so bright, what? Becoming I... something else. Interesting. She ate the others. Okay. She haunt, hunts the case eating thick wet gulps. Weird. Okay. So, But well, it looks like the dude starved to death. Yep. Yeah, he was just drinking sap. So this is the... It's like a... Ceremonial, sacrificial... Oh. Huh? Here she is. Oh, she's pretty much just like the water witch, but different. Hmm. What, so the cults transformed her? Yes. Pretty much. But her... Lanash? That's not her. Oh, maybe not. Her name was Keska. Well, she fit kind of the bill. Extendo limbs. Yeah. White. It's... Oh, but her hair's not white. Well, it said her hair was white. So maybe I'm going to be haunted by a number of things before I get ambushed by her on the way out. I feel like there was a quest I was supposed to have going in here. On the way out? So or, there was nothing else? Did, did you well, check the another end area chest. For, fully? There's also a thing over here. Yeah, I, I checked the end area fully. I think you're supposed to pick up the... Nope, these are just bar casts. I don't know. I mean, I suppose if there's only a singular creature, maybe it was her. I have no idea. It seems like there'd be something more, but again, I bet it was just the Leon Ash and she'd been turned into it. I that's a, that's the sort of quest that I would actually really enjoy, where you stumble across this journal and it turns out that there's this crazy evil lady that's that now haunts the caverns and she actually like would talk to you and tries to eat you too, as opposed to just like popping up and be like, "Hey!" <laughs> At which point you murder her and it's like, well. No, I know. I think I really like it when they have dialogue cutscenes. Yeah. I mean, I could deal with just like a little bit of exposition with some subtitling to make things make a bit more sense. Not even having me talk to people. I should level up. Whoa, this episode has gone way too long. <laughs> okay. Uh, we will get back on track on the next episode of Wanderbots. See you guys then.